Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm sorry. Good morning. Good morning. Today is 7 April, the year 2015. I'm Dr. Dave Thompson, a volunteer at the Palm Springs Air Museum here in Palm Springs, California. As part of the Veterans History Project of the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., we conduct interviews of veterans and civilians who participated in our country's military conflicts. Today, I'm here at the museum, along with fellow volunteer Chris Demarest, and special guest Ann Dorr and Dr. Ed Dorr. And today we have the honor and the privilege of hearing the story of Mrs. Dorothy Watanabe. Uh, Mrs. Watanabe uh, was interned with her family uh, at Manzanar during World War II. So we're going to talk to her about that and a lot of other things. Dorothy, so good to have you yeah, here. Uh, okay. Good to, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Thank you. Dorothy, first of all, would you please state and spell your full name for us? My whole name is Ikuko Dorothy Watanabe. Ikuko, how do you spell that? I-K-U-K-O. Yeah, I assume that's a Japanese name. Mm -hmm. Does it mean anything in particular? Yes, it means uh, going around. Uh, uh, I don't know what. <laughs> Not easy. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, in English, it's yeah, a little hard to. Uh, and um, and your maiden name? What was that? What? Your maiden name. Amatatsu. And how do you spell that? A M A T A T S U. Okay. And it's the uh, only one in America. <laughs> yeah. Is that a common Japanese name? No, not common. It's not common. Yeah. Watanabe is common. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm. I don't know if you saw the movie Unbroken. Yeah. And uh, about. Uh, 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 Louis uh, yeah. Zamperini, we have all that, and the the bad Japanese man was a Watanabe. That's, <laughs> That's right. right. <laughs> My next door neighbor was a Watanabe. Too. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, when and where were you born? Bainbridge Island, Washington. And what uh, what year was that? What was your birth date? Uh, August 13, 1923. Making you how many years young? What? How many years young are you? 91. 91. Uh, uh, in August I'll be 92. <laughs> you look wonderful. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, and your father, what was his name? Yoshiaki. How do you spell that? Y O S H E I A K I. And, and what did he do? What? What did he do? What kind of work did well, he do? He was a doctor, but uh, he came to America and he uh, was uh, at the General Hospital to apply for work and they made him a janitor. Oh, what year was that? Oh, it's 1900, early, early 1900s, part, oh. 1916 or something like that. No. Why did he come to the United States? To the land of milk and honey. <laughs> so. <laughs> Where was he born in Japan? Uh, Kagoshima. Where is that? Southern Japan. Um, I'm. Japan has several islands, correct? Uh, in the main island. It was on the main uh, island. Tokyo's on that island uh, too? Uh, How far from Tokyo was that? Oh, it's towards the southern tip. Southern part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and his, so his family had always lived in Japan? Was, yes. He was, was he the first one of their family yeah. to leave uh, Japan? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, they always lived in that particular area? No. Were there a lot of doctors in the family? Yes. Um, 
the youngest uh, son was a doctor. His father was a doctor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where did they go? Where would they go to school? Where was the medical school that they went to? He went to uh, uh, Kagoshima, I guess. I mean, was it in the same town no. or same area? They no. didn't have to go to Tokyo to go no. to the school. I see. Yeah. And your mother, what was her name and her maiden her name? Her name was Taka. T A K A. Aoki. A O K I. Hey, okay. Well, I know that name. There was a, a golfer a few yeah. years ago. <laughs> hey, okay. Um, and did she, uh, uh, where did he meet her? Where did your father meet her, your mother? Oh, he met her in Japan and mm -hmm. came to America. She came with him? Or were they married? Uh, when she they... came later. Later, okay. Oh. And what did her father do? Her father? I, I guess it was a teacher. A teacher, yeah. Was yeah. she a teacher too? She was a teacher too. What did she teach? Japanese, everything. <laughs> everything. I mean, a junior high school. A junior high school, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of religion were they when they were uh, in Japan? My mother was a Shinto and my father was a Buddhist. Uh -huh. And when they came to America and got married, the, they turned to Christianity, Baptist. Baptist, okay. Uh, what's, the, what's the difference between uh, Shintoism and Buddhism? Do you know? Oh, Shinto, I think, uh, believes, I, I think <laughs> it's a paper religion. <laughs> And Buddhist, uh, there's plenty of Buddhists. Uh, the Shinto, it seemed like it, it, the the emperor meant a lot to the no, Shintoists, did no. it more so than uh, mm -hmm. sometimes the yeah oh. yeah. Oh, now what was your what was your you had a grandfather that was a samurai? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, tell me about that. The last that. of the samurais. The last of the have a picture of him. Oh, yeah. we'll want to get a picture of that. What was his name? Yeah. And was that on your mother's side or your father's side? My, my mother's side. Your mother's side, the mm -hmm. samurai. Uh -huh. um, and my father's side was a doctor. Okay. Uh, the, um, the samurai were very much respected, were they not? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they were the warrior yeah. class. Yeah. Do you know anything about them? What you see? The samurai usually the, yeah, the sword. The sword. No, well, they had the sword. <laughs> but they usually there's like a, I don't know if you recall a warlord or somebody. They no. protected or something, no. did they not? Uh, so I think uh, they he didn't like to kill someone, <laughs> and they uh, came to America because of the milk and honey. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. So where did they? Where did your father come to America? Where did he uh, end up? Seattle. In Seattle. And at the General Hospital, he tried to get work and. They made it a janitor. Were the Japanese kind of looked down upon at that time? Is that why they or they didn't think he would be a good doctor? Oh, no. or what do you I think, think uh, they heard America was milk and honey and uh, lots of food and. But I mean, how was he treated by the Americans when he first oh, came here? Oh, we had a neighbor uh, that was a blacksmith. And uh, because they couldn't speak the language, they he made fun of them. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and where in do you remember where in Seattle that he lived when they when they came here? Uh, no, it's 
I don't know don't because I was oh, right. Uh, so your mother came later, uh, mm -hmm. and then, and so, why did they turn to Christianity? Do you think? Oh, because the uh, Baptist group helped them so much, you know, the language and everything. Mm -hmm. So they became Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes, I have three sisters. And what are their names? Uh, what? What are their names? Their names? Their names are uh, Elsie is the oldest, and Kazuko, Michiko, and then me. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you grew up, did you speak Japanese in your home? Or, or yes, English, uh, mostly or? Japanese. Did your parents speak English at all? A uh, broken language. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, where did you live when you were growing up? Bainbridge Island. Okay, and that's Washington. That's close to Seattle. Uh huh. Right? And you have, to, you have to take a ferry boat to get over there. How? Yes. Uh huh. And the uh, ferry ran every two hours or so. And uh, by then, my father started a strawberry farm because his friend uh, told him to start and instead of working in a general hospital as a janitor. Mm -hmm. So my mother and father planted each plant uh, one after another, and they uh, uh, survived that way and then they, they their friends had uh, eight sons and my parents had four daughters <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah now I'm going to adjust this here just a little bit that's what I'm going to turn this okay um, and you're you know who were you I, I, I don't know if I got this. How did you fit in? Were you the oldest sister or the youngest? Uh, the youngest. You were the youngest mm -hmm. sister. Okay. And um, um, now you, I know you grew up during the Depression here in the United States. Uh, what was that like for you and your family? Oh, um, I couldn't buy new shoes, so my father took a tire from <laughs> cars and he... Uh, 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 that was what he just fixed my shoes with. <laughs> <laughs> the rubber off the tires where you, <laughs> you yeah. resole your shoes. Yeah. Uh, oh my. Um, so was it fun living on Bainbridge Island? What did you kids do for fun when you uh, were growing up? We, we played uh, a lot of baseball and all. we had a good time, uh, especially me. And my mother taught uh, Japanese school and oh, for did. a while. Uh -huh. yeah. Were there a lot of Japanese living on Bainbridge Island? Well, at the there time? were 379 pe people who went to Manzanar during the war. Oh, from there. So, okay, so it was quite a few. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you get back to, uh, did you, your family take you back to Japan any time uh, when uh, you were My up? mother took me while I, when I was uh, six years old because her father was sick. Mm -hmm. And that's when I first went to Japan. And I, my uncle was running for the Senate, so he had me speak. <laughs> and uh, I was... Uh, uh, speaker for my uh, uncle mm -hmm. to become senator, mm. and he won. Okay. So, um, so do you remember much about when you went back about the language? Did their the, their oh, language sound different than what you yeah, were used to speaking yeah. here in the United States? Uh, my uh, cousin was going to go to school and her father was a principal and she went and said A, B, C and one, two, three. <laughs> she wouldn't say it in Japanese. <laughs> and he was a principal of the school. <laughs> so I must have been a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> 
But did you notice the accent different? I yes. Mean, you, you did when you were back there from what? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I assume they noticed yours as well when you oh. were there. Yeah. How long were you there when you went back? Uh, How long were you there? How long did you visit? Uh, six well, months. Oh, six months. Uh -huh. So did you went to school there too? No, I or, didn't go to school, school there. but my cousin went. Yeah. yeah. So it was you and your mom, and would your other sisters go back too? No. Just you yeah. and your mother? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so where did you go to in the United States then? Where did you go to uh, grade school, to grammar school? Uh, where did you go to grade school? On Bainbridge Bain Island? Island? They had a school on, right uh, on the island. Okay. Yeah, and I just went, uh, I went to Japan uh, September and came back April. And they had me skip to second grade. Okay. But my mother thought it wasn't fair. So she made me go to first grade. And did your mother teach you? Was she the teacher in the no, school? No, she taught Japanese. Oh. Just a, oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Do you remember any of your favorite uh, teachers? In, in uh, do you remember any of your favorite teachers? Oh yeah, uh, fifth grade teacher, Miss Newton. Uh -huh. <laughs> Were the teachers mostly American or? or oh, yeah. Or, they were all and, Caucasian. They were all Caucasian, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not that you weren't American, but I meant. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and who, who were some of your best girlfriends when you were growing up? Oh, your best friends? When we were growing up, uh, the Kay Chihara and. Uh, uh, Satoe, Kojima, and some of Lavon Erickson, some of those people. Was there a movie theater on the island? Uh, later on, there was. Uh -huh. uh, do you remember the name of it? What? Do you remember the name of the movie theater? Bainbridge Island Theater. Bainbridge Island yeah. Theater. And uh, did, did, do you remember going to the movies? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what, what kind of movies did you like to see? Oh, family, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, they had cartoons and they had... Uh, uh, no, ser not too not much, too much cartoons. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you go into Seattle very much? Uh, I had to uh, have my teeth uh, straightened, and so mm -hmm. I had to go by myself because my parents were working, and uh, I come to the uh, area where the men were, mm -hmm. and I would run through that area to get to my dentist. <laughs> How old were you then? Oh, about, oh, about 12. Probably uh, so. That's uh, usually when they start the braces, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you? Did they have a high school on the island? Uh, yes, oh, they, they did. Was, that, was it part of the grade school? Was it just one big well, school? Well, I never graduated because when I was in the sixth grade, they changed it to eighth grade. And when I got to eighth grade, they changed it back to sixth grade. <laughs> and then we had evacuation when I was a senior. So I never graduated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you say you like to play baseball? What? You like to play baseball, did you say? Yeah, you kids? baseball and basketball. Yeah. Yeah. I think Japanese people, they like baseball quite a lot, yeah. didn't they? Even in, in, over yeah. in Japan. In Japan, when we went there, we heard kids playing. At five o'clock in the morning, we heard something, something, <laughs> and they looked out the window, and they were playing baseball before they went to school. <laughs> when you were in high school, did you have any, um, any, any boyfriend, favorite boyfriends, any special boyfriends in uh, high school? Yeah, <laughs> but we weren't uh, that noticeable. You know? 
we didn't show, you know. Okay. <laughs> Where um, did the uh, there were Caucasians on the island as well uh, as the uh, Japanese? So. Uh, did some Caucasians and some Japanese uh, Americans date each other? Uh, some, no, not too many, no. And, and how did the uh, Caucasians treat you and your family while you were growing up? Oh, they were very nice. We all got uh, to the other. Got along no. real well and everything. No, yeah. to him. Um, when we're getting up to the late 1930s, uh, particularly 1937, and Japan started to oh, fight with the Chinese and going to Manchuria. Mm. And did you know much about that, or did your family talk much no, about that? No, my uh, uncle's father in Manchuria. Yeah, mm. yeah. And did did they did your parents did they think that was a good idea, a bad idea, or did they? talk much about what was going on back home. No, we didn't talk too much about it, yeah. Do you think by this time they had felt that this was their country and, you know, yeah. they didn't really have no, much to do with what was going on? Our country was America. Right. And we didn't think too much. Right, yeah. So, do you remember what you were doing on December 7th, 1941? Yes, we were in Sunday school, I mean church, and uh, we could hardly believe that there was a war going on. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, when you were, but you were still, you were a senior in high school? Uh, you were a senior in high school yes. at that time? And then we had to evacuate, and I had a favorite dog, and uh, he used to, uh, we used to make him go to the bed first and warm the bed, <laughs> and then he'd come up <laughs> and he'd take a bath with us, uh, and uh, and we had to leave him, and uh, he died. Two weeks later, he wouldn't eat or sleep. We had a Filipino stay at our home, and uh, uh, I really felt so sorry because we couldn't take any animals. We had to just take two suitcases. Thomas, suitcases were small, and I used to go and talk to them. Uh, seniors and juniors in high school, and I went <clears throat> one year uh, uh, right after the Indian spoke, and so when I went to speak, the kids weren't interested at all, and they just uh, showed me that they weren't interested. And I told, I, I spoke to them and said, you know, we all could only carry two suitcases and they were small. You know, we have big suitcases now. And then they started and I said, how many jeans do you think a small suitcases would fit? And then, then I got their attention, and they started to say, you mean you only had two little suitcases? And we didn't know where we were going, and they started to be interested. So, what was your dog's name? Oh, Teddy. Teddy. <laughs> T-E-D-D-I. Was he a big dog, little dog? No. He was a little dog. He was born at our home. So he was precious to me. Yes. And uh, we went to Mansonar where, where, where Teddy wouldn't eat or sleep and he finally died. And, uh, How long after December 7th 
was it that you before you had to go to Manson? Uh, we were arrived in Manson our April first, and I could never forget what we had for lunch. We couldn't believe we had uh, World War One goggles and pea coats and uh, uh, World War One and. Uh, Dishes. They were World War One. We couldn't believe we had one to. We didn't know where we were going. But the suitcases, we didn't know whether to share, you know, warm clothes or summer clothes. But we arrived April first. Okay. And they uh, came to America because of the milk and honey. Yes, yes. Okay. So where did they? Where did your father come to America? Where did he uh, end Seattle. up? In Seattle. Seattle. And at the General Hospital, he tried to get work, and they made it a janitor. Were the Japanese kind of looked down upon at that time? Is that why they or they didn't think he would be a good doctor? Oh, no, or what do you I think? think uh, they heard America was milk and honey and uh, lots of food and. But I mean, how was he treated by the Americans when he first oh, came here? Oh, we had a neighbor uh, that was a blacksmith and. Uh, because they couldn't speak the language, they he made fun of them. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and where in do you remember where in Seattle that he lived when they when they came here? Uh, no, it's I don't know don't because I wasn't old. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, so your mother came later, um, mm. and then, and so. Why did they turn to Christianity, do you think? Oh, because the uh, Baptist group helped them so much, you know, the language and everything, mm -hmm. so they became Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes, I have three sisters. And what are their names? Uh, what? What are their names? Their names? Their names are... Uh, Elsie is the oldest, and Kazuko, Michiko, and then me. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you grew up, did you speak Japanese in your home? Or, or yes, English, uh, mostly or? Japanese. Yeah. Did your parents speak English at all? A broken language. <laughs> <laughs> And so, uh, where did you live when you were growing up? Bainbridge Island. Okay, and that's Washington. That's close to Seattle. Uh -huh. right? And you have, to, you have to take a ferry boat to get over there. How? Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, a ferry ran every two hours or so. And uh, by then, my father started a strawberry farm because his friend. Uh, told them to start and instead of working in a general hospital as a janitor. Mm -hmm. So my mother and father planted each plant uh, one after another and they uh, uh, survived that way. And then they, they their friends had uh, eight sons and my parents had four daughters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, now I'm going to adjust this here just a little bit. That's I'm going to turn this. Okay. Um, and you're, you know, were you, I, I, I don't know if I got this. No. How did you fit in? Were you the oldest sister or the youngest? Uh, or? The youngest. You were the youngest mm -hmm. sister. Okay. And um, um, now you. I know you grew up during the Depression here in the United States. Uh, what was that like for you and your family? Oh, um, I couldn't buy new shoes, so my father took a tire from <laughs> cars, and he, uh, 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 that was what he fixed my shoes with. <laughs> <laughs> the rubber off the tires for you. <laughs> you sole your shoes. Uh, oh, my. 
Um, so was it fun living on Bainbridge Island? What did your kids do for fun when you oh, were growing up? We, we played uh, a lot of baseball and uh, we had a good time, uh, especially me and my mother taught uh, Japanese school and oh, for did. a while. Uh -huh. uh, were there a lot of Japanese living on Bainbridge Island? Well, the there time? were 379 pe people who went to Manzanar during the war. Oh, from there. So, okay, so it was quite a few. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you get back to, uh, did you, your family take you back to Japan any time? Uh, when well, you were my up? mother took me while, when I was uh, six years old because her father was sick and that's when I first went to Japan and I, my uncle was running for the Senate so he had me speak <laughs> and uh, I was a, a speaker for my uh, uncle to become senator hmm. and he won okay. so. Um. So, do you remember much about when you went back about the language? Did their the, their oh, language sound different than what you yeah, were used to speaking yeah. here in the United States? Uh, my uh, cousin was going to go to school, and her father was a principal, and she went and said A B C and one two three. <laughs> she wouldn't say it in. Japanese, <laughs> and he was a principal of the school, <laughs> so I must have been a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> but did you notice the accent different? I yes. Mean, you, you did, when you were back there, from what? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> and I, I assume they noticed yours as well when no. you were there. Yeah. How long were you there when you went back? Not how long were you there? How long did you visit? Uh, six months. Oh, six months. Uh -huh. So did you went to school there too? No, I or didn't go to school, school there. but my cousin went. Yeah. yeah. So it was you and your mom, and would your other sisters go back too? No. Just you yeah. and your mother? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so where did you go to, in the United States then, where did you go to uh, grade school, to grammar school? Uh, where did you go to grade school? On Bainbridge Island? Island? They had a school on, right uh, on the island, okay. Yeah, and I just went, uh, I went to Japan uh, September and came back April, and they had me skip to second grade. Okay. But my mother thought it wasn't fair so she made me go to first grade. And did your mother teach you? Was she the teacher in the no, school? No, she taught Japanese. Oh. Just a, oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Do you remember any of your favorite uh, teachers? In, in uh, do you remember any of your favorite teachers? Oh yeah, a fifth grade teacher, Miss Newton. Uh -huh. <laughs> Were the teachers mostly American or? or oh yeah, or, they were all and, Caucasian. They were all Caucasian, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Not that you weren't American, but I meant <laughs> <laughs> um, um, And who, who were some of your best girlfriends when you were growing up, oh, your best friends? When we were growing up, uh, the Kay Chihara and uh, uh, Satoe, Kojima, and some of Lavon Erickson, mm -hmm. some of those people. Was there a movie theater on the island? Uh, later on, there was. Uh -huh. uh, do you remember the name of it? What? Do you remember the name of the movie theater? Bainbridge Island Theater. Bainbridge Island yeah. Theater. And uh, did, did you remember going to the movies? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what, what kind of movies did you like to see? Oh, family, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, they had cartoons and they had... Uh, uh, no, not, uh, not too much, too much cartoons. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you go into Seattle very much? Uh, I had to uh, 
uh, have my teeth uh, straightened, and mm -hmm. so I had to go by myself because my parents were working, and uh, I came to the uh, area where the men were, mm -hmm. and I would run through that area to get to my dentist. <laughs> How old were you then? Oh, about. Oh, about 12. Probably uh, so. That's yeah. usually when they start the braces, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you, did they have a high school on the island? Uh, yes, oh, they, they did. Was it, was it part of the grade school? Was it just one well, big school? Well, I never graduated because when I was in the sixth grade, they changed it to eighth grade. And when I got to eighth grade, they changed it back to sixth grade. <laughs> and then we had evacuation when I was a senior. So oh, I never, never graduated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you say you like to play baseball? What? You like to play baseball, did you say? Yeah, you baseball and basketball. Yeah. Yeah. I think Japanese people, they liked baseball quite a lot, yeah. didn't they? Even in, in, over yeah. in Japan. In Japan, when we went there, we heard kids playing at 5 o'clock in the morning. We heard something, something, <laughs> and they looked out the window, and they were playing baseball before they went to school. <laughs> yeah. When you were in high school, did you have any, um, any, any boyfriend, favorite boyfriends? Any special boyfriends in uh, high school? Yeah, <laughs> but we weren't uh, that noticeable. You know? yeah. We didn't show, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> were, um, did the, uh, there were Caucasians on the island as well oh, as the uh, Japanese. So, uh, did some Caucasians and some Japanese uh, Americans date each other? Uh, some, no, not too many, no. And, and how did the uh, Caucasians treat you and your family while you were growing up? Oh, they were very nice. We all got to do it. Got along no. real well and everything. No. To yeah. um, When we're getting up to the late 1930s, uh, particularly 1937, and Japan started to oh, fight with the Chinese and going to Manchuria. Mm. And did you know much about that, or did your family talk much uh, about that? No, um, my uh, uncles fought in Manchuria. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And did did they did your parents did they think that was a good idea a bad idea or did they talk much about what was going on back home no we didn't talk too much about it yeah do you think by this time they had felt that this was their country and you know yeah. they didn't really have no, much to do with what was going on our country was america right and we didn't think too much. Right, yeah. So, do you remember what you were doing on December 7th, 1941? Yes, we were in Sunday school, I mean church, and uh, we could hardly believe that there was a war going on. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, and you were, but you were still, you were a senior in high school? Uh, you were a senior in high school yes. at that time? Yeah. And then we had to evacuate, and I had a favorite dog, and uh, he used to, uh, we used to make him go to the bed first and warm the bed, <laughs> and then he'd come up <laughs> and he'd take a bath with us, uh, and uh, and we had to leave him, and uh, he died two weeks later. He wouldn't eat or sleep. We had a Filipino stay at our home, and uh, I really felt so sorry 
because we couldn't take any animals. We had to just take two suitcases. Mama's suitcases were small, and I used to go and talk to the uh, seniors and juniors in high school. And I went <coughs> one year, uh, uh, right after the Indian spoke, and so when I went to speak, the kids were interested at all, and they just uh, showed me that they weren't interested. And I told, I, I spoke to them and said, you know, we all could only carry two suitcases, and they were small. You know, we have big suitcases now. And then they started, and I said, how many jeans do you think a small suitcase would fit? And then, then I got their attention, and they started to say, you mean you only had two little suitcases? And we didn't know where we were going, and they started to be interested. So. What were you? Dog's name? Oh, Teddy. Teddy. <laughs> T E D D I. Was he a big dog, little no, dog? No, he little. was a little dog. He was born at our home. So he was precious to me. Yes. And uh, when we went to Mansonar, where Teddy wouldn't eat or sleep. Mm -hmm. and he finally died. And, uh, How long after December 7th was it that you, before you had to go to Manzanar? Uh, we were arrived in Manzanar April 1st. April 1st. And I could never forget what we had for lunch. We couldn't believe we had uh, World War I goggles and pea coats and uh, uh, or, or one, and the uh, uh, dishes weren't dishes, they were World War One. And we couldn't believe we had come to, we didn't know where we were going, but the suitcases, we didn't know whether to hear, you know, warm clothes or summer clothes. Do you remember the name of it? What? Do you remember the name of the movie theater? Bainbridge Island Theater. Bainbridge Island yeah. Theater. And uh, did, did you remember going to the movies? Yes. Uh, uh, what, what kind of movies did you like to see? Oh, family. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. They had cartoons and they had... Uh, uh, no, sir, not too, not too much, much cartoons. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you go into Seattle very much? Uh, I had to uh, have my teeth uh, straightened, and so mm -hmm. I had to go by myself because my parents were working, and uh, I came to the uh, area where the men were, mm -hmm. and I would run through that area to get to my dentist. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you then? Oh, about, oh, about 12. Probably uh, so. That's uh, usually when they start the braces, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you, did they have a high school on the island? Uh, yes, oh, they, they did. did. Was, it, was it part of the grade school? Was it just one well, big school? Well, I or? never graduated because when I was in the sixth grade, they changed it to eighth grade. And when I got to eighth grade, they changed it back to sixth grade. <laughs> and then we had evacuation when I was a senior. So I never graduated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
They say you like to play baseball. What? You like to play baseball, did you say? Yeah, you kids? baseball and basketball. Yeah. Yeah. I think Japanese people, they like baseball quite a lot, yeah. didn't they? Even in, in, over yeah. in Japan. In Japan, when we went there, we heard kids playing at five o'clock in the morning. We heard something, something. <laughs> And they looked out the window, and they were playing baseball before they went to school. <laughs> no. When you were in high school, did you have any uh, any any boyfriend, favorite boyfriends, any special boyfriends in uh, high school? Yeah, <laughs> but we weren't uh, that noticeable. You know? yeah. We didn't show, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're. Um, did the uh, there were Caucasians on the island as well oh, as the uh, Japanese? So, uh, did some Caucasians and some Japanese uh, Americans date each other? Uh, some, no, not too many, no. And and how did the uh, Caucasians treat you and your family while you were growing up? Oh, they were very nice. We all got to the other. Got along no. real well and everything. No, yeah. to you. Um, when we're getting up to the late 1930s, uh, particularly 1937, and Japan started to oh, fight with the Chinese and go into Manchuria, no. and did you know much about that, or did your family talk much no. about that? No, my uh, uncle's fought in Manchuria. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And did. Did they? Did your parents? Did they think that was a good idea, a bad idea, or did they talk much about what was going on back home? No, we didn't talk too much about it. Yeah. Do you think by this time they had felt that this was their country, and you know yeah. they didn't really have no, much to do with what was going on? Our country was America, right? And we didn't think too much. Right, yeah. So, do you remember what you were doing on December 7th, 1941? Yes, we were in Sunday school at the church, and uh, we could hardly believe that there was a war going on. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, and you were, but you were still, you were a senior in high school? Uh, you were a senior in high school yes. at that time? Yeah. And then we had to evacuate, and I had a favorite dog, and uh, he used to, uh, we used to make him go to the bed first and warm the bed, <laughs> and then he'd come up <laughs> and he'd take a bath with us, uh, and uh, and we had to leave him, and uh, he died two weeks later. He wouldn't eat or sleep. We had a Filipino stay at our home, and uh, uh, I really felt so sorry because we couldn't take any animals. We had to just take two suitcases. Almost. Suitcases were small, and I used to go and talk to the uh, seniors and juniors in high school. And I went <coughs> one year, uh, uh, right after the Indian spoke, and so when I went to speak, the kids were interested at all, and they just showed me that they weren't interested. And I, told, I, I spoke to them and said, you know, we all could only carry two suitcases, and they were small. You know, we have big suitcases now. And then they started, and I said, how many jeans do you think a small suitcases would fit? 
And then, then I got their attention, and they started to say, you mean you only had two little suitcases? And we didn't know where we were going, and they started to be interested. So. What was your dog's name? Oh, Teddy. Teddy. <laughs> T-E-D-D-I. Was he a big dog, little no, dog? No, he was a little dog. He was born at our home, so he was uh, precious to me. Yes. And uh, when we went to Manzanar, where well, Teddy wouldn't eat or sleep, and he finally died. And, uh, How long after December 7th was it that you, before you had to go to Manzanar? Arrived in Manzanar April 1st, and I could never forget what we had for lunch. We couldn't believe we had World War I goggles and pea coats and World War I and dishes weren't dishes, they were World War I. <laughs> Suitcases, we didn't know whether to carry, you know, warm clothes or summer clothes or what. But we arrived April 1st. Okay. But we arrived April 1st. Okay.
o'clock at night and we couldn't go any place and it, it was quite a terrible experience. Well, okay, when you said one week, do you mean one week prior to you going or you mean one yeah, week? Okay. Yeah, well, one, between between just, December 7th and let's yeah, say yeah, April 1st, yeah, yeah. Well, how were you treated then? I mean, did were... Uh, well, the, or, in Bainbridge, mm -hmm. uh, the Japanese were quite uh, leaders in their school, so the kids could hardly believe, you know, that we were going someplace. Right, but when did you find out that you were going to have to go someplace? Uh, was it early just on? Just a week uh, just, notice. Okay, yeah. just a week's notice. So, but, but prior to that time, yeah. Did you have any idea, I mean, were the people treating you, the Caucasians treating you badly? Did they kind of say, your yeah, people some, did this? There were some people that were, but most of them were, you know, we were all friends. Yeah. So, so they were as shocked as you yeah. were when you had to go, probably. Yeah. 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 Um, did you have any friends? Let's say your high school uh, boys that went to the service went to. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Quite a bit. Uh, most of them went to, but when they got to Manzanar, it was April first, and they, we thought it was the uh, April first. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> April Fool's Day. Uh, uh, yeah. And. Uh, I can never forget our meal that we had uh, canned wieners, canned spinach, and rice, and bread pudding. Mm. So that was our meal, first meal we had. Mm. And those old uh, World War One. Well, yeah, little no, ten, ten things, yeah. Oh, you just, yeah, yeah, okay, I got a little yeah. kind of quick, some kind of rations, they probably call it then. And they didn't have the windows in at all, and then that's why they gave us those goggles and picos. The wind blew, and uh, uh, we had to make our own mattresses out of straw. Oh, so you're saying there were. There were no, there was no glass in the yeah, windows. The, and the, there were the, big windows like uh, that, and the, the wind blew, and we get to all the sand, sand and everything. No. That's why you had to no. have the goggles. Okay, that's what. Was <laughs> about the mattresses and how but you slept. Straw mattress. You had to make your own mattress. We had to make our own mattress. Out of what? What did you make it out of? Yeah. Oh, what did you make the mattress out of? Straw. Straw. Uh, wow. Yeah. They were given the bedding in which they had to stuff the straw in. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No. In uh, one of the flyers uh, we have, some water. Uh, it tells exactly what uh, they had to bring. Oh. And they had to bring uh, their thank dishes, you. Uh, their things. Uh, but you know, Dave, what I was sitting in church Sunday thinking, what did they have to leave behind? You know, what couldn't you take? But, well, maybe, yeah. Um, when you, all your possessions that you left, now you said a Filipino family came, were they kind of watching over your house and yeah. your possessions yeah. while you were gone? Was was everything still there when you got back? Uh, well, some of the, the sofas and the uh, chairs, uh, some newlyweds uh, had taken and, and uh, no, well, when I, I guess my parents went back, then uh, 
they received it back again. They got it back again. And did you, did your parents own your own house? Yes. Uh, okay, so. Uh, so uh, you went, so that wasn't taken away from yeah, you when you went uh, back. You could live in the same house yeah, again. But the uh, people in California lost their homes. Well, so did people in Washington. And the minister was so good, he went back and forth to bring some things for them. But we were in California, and uh, we asked... Uh, the government to release us to the Washington and Oregon people, and they did. <laughs> they sent us uh, to Minnetonka, and by then we were friends with the Manzanar people. We didn't really care to move, and it was uh, uh, snowy and. <laughs> in uh, uh, Medidoka, Idaho. So when the executive order 9066 happened in February 1942, how soon after that was your family notified? Uh, two weeks later. You were notified, and then how long after that did you actually have to move? Yeah. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. So that was very quick. Yep. Um, I know that um, Washington State was one of the first groups, Bainbridge yeah, Island. The, the Bainbridge Island was the first group. Yeah. And how many families were there? Um, I think 67. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And did they all go to Manzanar? Yes. They did. Okay. Um, talk about the experience of going from Bainbridge Island. How did you get to Manzanar? Uh, by army trucks. The whole way? Yeah. How long did that take? Oh, it took us to the Eagle Harbor dock. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got on the boat then. Mm -hmm. And then the army truck, uh, no, the train was waiting for us and we got on a train and arrived in Manzanar April 1st. Okay. And it was an April Fool's joke. <laughs> <laughs> so you thought. No. So had you ever experienced a, a, a climate or a geography like Manzanar no. before? So that's why you thought it was a joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then we arrived April 1st. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a joke. And, uh, yeah. Now, uh, I think you had mentioned earlier that you were moved into bunk or bunkhouse number four. There were only four buildings at that point. What? There were only four buildings erected at Manzanar when you arrived. Uh, the barracks. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, were any of the men who came down involved with building any of the barracks? They were in the administration building. I got the first. Uh, we were in number three. Number three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Describe what the barrack looked like. Oh, just like an army camp. They were just like the army camp because they couldn't make anything <laughs> yeah, in such a hurry. And people always talk about the wind. Was that your impression? Yeah, we were ushered pea coats, World War I pea coats, goggles, mm -hmm. and we were wondering why we had to have a World War goggles. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Well, we soon learned that uh, the storm was so great that you needed those goggles. Yeah. Um, and of course, in April, it's cold there. Oh, April 1st. Yeah. And we thought it was a joke. Uh, were there windows on the barracks at that no, point? Windows? No. No, no, no glass. 
No windows. When it was just a hole in the wall, mm -hmm. and the sandstorm was so bad, it came in. That's why we needed the goggles. Uh huh. And how did you? You were there with your three sisters and your parents. No, my mother. My father was taken earlier because he was a community leader. Right, right. Yeah. Now, so, did, at that point, did you know where he was? Um, yeah, we knew. Okay. You know. Did you have any communication from yeah, him? Yeah, I've even brought some. Oh, okay. Yeah. Some of the, we'll yeah. look at those later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In terms of the the bunks, did you have to separate uh, for privacy, like the sisters from your mother, or were you just in one room? We were, we were with another family mm -hmm. with three girls. I mean, the, yeah, three girls. Okay. Satoyas and Yuri. Yeah, they were live with us. Mm -hmm. Now remind us your age relative to your sisters. Yeah, what? Yeah, how? Remind us your age with your sisters. Where did you fall? Oh, I fell the fourth one. Okay, so you were the youngest. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you had, you were a senior, you had been a senior yeah. in high school. Mm -hmm. You talked about how you never got your diploma yeah. at, at officially mm -hmm. at school. Um, the, uh, uh, the, the food... Talk about that, how different that was. Oh, uh, there were just starches, <laughs> a rice and a cereal, and, and uh, the first, uh, I'll never forget, it was rice, uh, canned wieners, and that's the first time I ate a canned winners <laughs> and spin canned spinach. Ah. Oh, it was terrible. Yeah. So what was what did your mother typically make at home for you? What was your diet? Oh, oh, at, at home. Be what? Be before camp, what what was a typical meal for you? Well, morning it was uh, uh, eggs and uh, toast mm. and fruit, mm -hmm. uh, and then I don't know. They, my father and mother, ate uh, Japanese food maybe for lunch, mm -hmm. but for evening we had uh, American food. Okay, because you were born American, mm -hmm. yeah. So they were adjusting to that mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. So. But you still had never had canned wieners before. No. Canned spinach. <laughs> <laughs> we had fresh spinach. <laughs> yeah, at home you had fresh spinach. Yeah. Your father, your parents, your family grew strawberries. Yeah. So was there any fresh fruit at Manzanar? Uh, no. Uh, later on we had uh, oranges. Mm -hmm. And maybe apples and things like that. Yeah. No. Um, because you were a senior in high school, um, did you actually go to school at Manzanar? Uh, we got there April 1st. Yeah. And we had no assignments at all. So they didn't send... Uh, the books or anything for us, so we graduated without all those things. Okay, so what did you do to fill your time? Oh, we went for singing and uh, playing ball and like baseball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and plays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. What was your, uh, after the sense of April Fool's, what? after the April Fool's sense of arriving, uh, did it take long to adjust to being there? Uh, no, for us it 
didn't take long. We played baseball and played. I played a, a, a stage play. Mm -hmm. um, what was it? <coughs> they met in Massanar. You know? So I kept busy. Yeah. Do you remember any of the plays, the names? Uh, they met again in Manzanar, was the first one, and I played in that. And uh, I don't know what they had, all kinds of plays in later on. Okay. Your mother had taught at a language school. Mm -hmm. uh, did she continue teaching? No. Uh, she taught in Seattle and Bainbridge mm -hmm. until she had a family and she didn't teach anymore. Okay. And she taught the flower arrangement, yes. Yeah. Did she teach flower arrangement at Manzanar? No. No? So how did she keep busy? Oh, she led a group and language school okay um, so she kept busy yeah um d how long did the menu start to change it at manzanar hmm. eventually that you were growing your own vegetables uh, that... but we left uh, in two minutes or cup you know <clears throat> April 1st, I think we were in Manzanar one year. One year. And then we left for Minidoka. Okay. Was was the transfer to Minidoka uh, your choice? Um, was the choice to, was there a choice to go to Minidoka or were, were you just transferred there? No, um, they had a riot in Manzanar. Okay. <clears throat> so we petitioned to the government in the, in that we didn't belong there because we were the only Washingtonian. <clears throat> oh, okay. And uh, the Washingtonians were transferred to Manitoka. Mm -hmm. And so. They transferred us. Okay. What was the difference between Minidoka and Manzanar? Oh, the weather. Yeah. <laughs> the snow and we had to, they all had boots and everything. Well, we had to have, so <laughs> it was complete opposite. Yeah. Were the barracks a bit better? The, what? the barracks where you lived, were they better than they were at Manzanar? No, I think the weather was better at Manzanar. <laughs> Just because it was, wasn't as cold. No, snowing yeah. and yeah. we didn't have clothes for that. Yeah. Wow. Did you take your pea coats and your goggles with you? Yeah. Yeah, good. Uh, I left for Chicago. Uh, in uh, March of that year, I only lived in Minidoka one month. Oh, just one month. So how did you make arrangements to go to Chicago? Uh, by the Quakers. They're okay. the ones that came and, and t talked about you know, staying in a camp or you know, and grow at all. So, mm -hmm. and um, I decided I would not like to go to Chicago. Okay. Did you did you all go or did you go alone? Alone. Alone. And that was a brave thing to do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and when I took a bath that night, I I said I cried in the bathtub because. <laughs> I wonder why I came all by myself oh. at 18. Uh, but, uh, I, yeah, and uh, 
Uh, I cried in the bathtub. Yeah. But you you did not regret it. Oh. Yeah. Um, was there any resistance from your mother and sisters to say, don't leave? No. Um, my mother thought I wanted to go to college, and so she didn't tell me not to go, and she wanted me to get education, and, mm -hmm. you know. Well, you're, you're, prior to the war, your older sisters, um, oh, okay. uh, your older sisters, were any of them in college? Uh, no, they were, um, <coughs> they were my parents. My father was a doctor, my mother was a teacher, so they should want to go, you know, to college. But my sisters uh, were of that marriage of well age now, so they didn't, you know, they might as well make them money and live their own life. Mm -hmm. So were you the only daughter to go to college? Yeah. Uh, you were? Yeah. Uh, that was a big move. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because both of my parents were very well educated. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So they had to be very proud of you. Yeah, for I doing guess that. so. Um, did it take long to adjust to life in Chicago? No, because I lived there with, uh, uh, I worked at Traveler's Aid and I, uh, um, the sociology, I, I was a, uh, thinking of becoming an old economics teacher. Mm -hmm. But when I read all the uh, stories of uh, social work, and that's what I w wanted to be. Mm -hmm. Did you, uh, so were you in school in college for four years? No, I just went to night school. I had to work during the day and went to night school. Okay. And what, what did you do for a job? Uh, I worked at Traveler's Aid. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you doing uh, clerical work, typing, things like uh, that? I, I did more of the social work with someone leading me to it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, when did you meet your husband? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I met him in Chicago, no, in Manzanar. Oh, and met. when we went to Manitoba, he went to work in uh, Idaho and came to see me. Ah. And when I went to Chicago, he came later and worked in, I uh, got a job in Kenosha. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to night school. Okay. Uh, now, what was he doing for work? He was working in an ice cream factory. <laughs> <laughs> Filling containers. And, uh, wow. uh, eating ice cream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I've seen pictures. He didn't get fat. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, was he, uh, did he want to go to college? Oh, he was, uh, he went to UCLA. Okay, okay. So he, uh, but he, he was going to University of uh, missing, uh, Wisconsin, and but uh, the army called him instead. Oh, so he actually served. When? What year did he uh, enlist? Nineteen forty-five, I guess. Now, was the war over at that point? No, he went to language school at Fort Snelling. Okay. And then 
uh, then the war was over and they were, um, he was one of the interpreters uh, for war crimes. Where was he stationed to do that? Toko. Okay. Was, Yo was Yokohama. Yokohama. Mm -hmm. Was that his first time ever in Japan? No. Okay. He went as a little boy and he went to the judo, you mm -hmm. know, to Japan and America to see. Yeah. So he had been to Japan twice okay. already. And, and how many times had you been to Japan before the war? Once. Just once? Once before. Yeah. Um, how long did he stay in Yokohama? We see, I think about eight months. Eight or months, yeah. Uh, what was that experience like for him? On the one hand, his former home country we're, yeah. we're at war with him. Uh, he f felt sorry for her because he met his relatives and they were, you know, uh, they didn't have enough food mm -hmm. and I think he helped them a little bit. <laughs> so that's good. He was able to see them mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, it must have been difficult for him to leave and come back to the United States. No, because uh, he wanted to come to the United States. Yeah. Uh, because the Japan was so poor, mm -hmm. and so, but he helped them, you know, a little bit. Okay. Know. When did you become engaged? Uh, let us see, well, before he left. Okay. So we were engaged for about nine months. Okay. So you were married in the spring of 1946? 45. 45. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, and then uh, in July 6. July 6. 1945. Yeah. Did you uh, have a big ceremony? Oh, we had uh, uh, his... Uh, teacher was Dr. Morikawa and he was uh, in, in Chicago uh, he, at the First Baptist Church. Okay. So we got married through him. And, and how and how long did you live in Chicago? Two years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then from there did you go come to California? No, uh, I'm gonna see. <laughs> 40, uh, Yeah. Okay. Uh, went to California. And that's where he went to U school at UCLA. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what what was his degree? Chemistry. Chemistry. And what did he do with that? He was a director of uh, uh, new products and uh, um, new products at. Uh, Johnson and Johnson. Okay, okay. Was that his career mm -hmm. at Johnson and Johnson? Yeah, mm -hmm. and that was based in California. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, did you continue with social working? Yes. So uh, for a while, I went to night school, and then uh, then I had my first child, so I went to night school. Mm -hmm. at, uh, LSCC. Okay. And then I went to, um, we moved to Pasadena and I took early childhood education. Mm hmm Yeah. And, uh, were you, was your, well, your parent, your father was now released and, and did they go back to living in, yeah, in, in Bainbridge, Bainbridge Island? Island. Okay. Mm -hmm. What was the transition like for them? For them, I wasn't there, but I guess it was kind of hard mm -hmm. because they had the home because they they were lucky that but so many people didn't have any home and they had to live 
so many families together, and, mm -hmm. but my parents were lucky that they had their home. So they had people looking after the home mm -hmm. while you were away? Yeah, Filipino, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what was the condition of the strawberry farm and the crop? And it wasn't any good, but... Yeah. yeah. So did they get back into farming, mm -hmm. strawberry farms? Mm -hmm. And so how long did that take, roughly, to transition back to normal? I guess it took a couple of years. Yeah. 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 Uh, were you able to see your parents much? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did mm -hmm. they ever come down to California oh, to see yeah. you? Yes. Yeah. They stayed with me at Fullerton. Okay. <coughs> and uh, the, there was an envy of uh, other people because they came and stayed with us during the winter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they they let yeah. home in, in Washington State go yeah. for a while. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did they retire to California or did they stay in Washington? They stayed in Washington. Okay. Now, where were your sisters after oh, the war? My sister, one was married and she was in Colorado and the other one was uh, in Montana. Mm -hmm. No. Did they marry Japanese Americans? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was staying with a the culture they were familiar with. Mm -hmm. Did they meet their husbands in internment camps? No, my uh, second sister was corresponding with uh, his sister, and so they knew each other. Okay. And. Uh, my older sister, I guess, uh, he came to Medadoka and, and uh, they got married, you know. Okay. So none of those husbands, like your husband, had to serve in the military? Oh, yes. Uh, the second sister's husband served in the military okay. way before the war. No. Was he, uh, did he serve abroad? Did he, was he in Europe? Or did he stay uh, in, the, in the United States? Uh, I think he went to Europe. Okay. Yeah. And my husband went to Fort Snelling mm -hmm. to do war crimes work in Japan. Yeah. Um, so he was, your husband was the in, an, an interpreter. Yeah. Your husband was an interpreter, mm -hmm. interpreter mm -hmm. over there, yeah. Um, how soon after you were married did you have children? We were married in 45 and we had our first child in 49. Okay, it was a boy or a girl? Mm, boy. Boy, what was his name? Uh, we, we had uh, four girls in our family, and he was the only boy with th two sisters. Okay. Uh, but we were expecting a girl, but we had two boys. <laughs> <laughs> what were their names? Uh, uh, Nathan, Brian, and Gordon Craig. Okay. Uh, and one of them is in the medical field, is that right? Um, no. Let's see, Brian is in uh, audiology. Okay, that's what, mm -hmm. yeah. And Gordon got his doctor in, uh, I guess, what did he get it in, a PhD in? I teach you. Okay, yeah. okay. Going back to um, your your life, your husband, um, I remember seeing a, a wonderful photograph of you and your husband in Japan uh -oh. in a rental car. Your uh -oh. husband was quite tall. Uh -oh. and uh, he was 5'10". 5'10", yeah, yeah, which was unusual, even, yeah. even for a lot of yeah. Caucasian men mm -hmm. back then. Uh, 
Did you do a lot of traveling to yes. the all over the world? Yeah. Okay, where did you go? South America. Uh, uh, Japan, China, uh, well, uh, Europe, and mm -hmm. all over. And yeah. and uh, and you went with him on most of these trips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's pretty amazing for a young girl born in Bainbridge <laughs> Island. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> did you enjoy travel? Oh yeah, both of us did. Yeah. And when we had our annual uh, uh, Bainbridge Island. And we so told the, all the what happened to us, mm -hmm. and the the Bainbridge Island people said, "Oh, we only moved from here to there five miles, <laughs> and you people went all over." <laughs> so they kind of envy us. Sure, sure. Uh, uh, did you continue traveling mm -hmm. after your husband yeah, retired? Yeah. We both like to travel, and my husband spoke five different languages, mm -hmm. so it was kind of nice to travel. And he would talk in, you know, the language German, Italian, and so forth, and uh, the, the people would feel good and start to talk and then and he says, Oh slow down <laughs> I can't <laughs> yeah, I'm not too familiar with you know, Yeah. But it, but enough to get by. Yeah. yeah. Did he study languages in, in school or did he self Yeah, he had Spanish in school mm -hmm. and and then he loved the languages although he was a uh, uh, chemist, you know. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, how how good was his Japanese? Very good. Very good. Yeah, because he went to Fort Snelling. Yeah. Went to interpret. That's true. So when he was growing up, did his parents speak Japanese at home? Yeah. Okay. So that's a lot. Now, what mm -hmm. about your parents? Yeah. Did your parents... Because my parents were well, well educated. But they didn't speak other languages. So, okay. Yeah. But at home, did they primarily speak English? No. Japanese. 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 Uh, yeah. Um, do you retain much Japanese now? No. No. But we have no way of speaking because nobody is left, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Uh, Going back to the internment camps, uh, do you have a highlight that that stands out, good or bad? Yeah, we had the uh, best uh, ministers come from LA. Mm -hmm. The top notch wanted to see what you know service camp, and they they all volunteer. So we had the best speakers every Sunday. Nice. Did uh, you mention the Quakers helping you out? Did you yourselves become Quakers? No, Quakers um, have helped us to go to the Chicago, and they were very. But none of us, uh, they didn't influence us in. Coming to Quakers, so we didn't see them later. Okay, did did religion play a role in your life mm -hmm. as adults? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. What? We had a, a Baptist a minister in Seattle, and he was always with the Japanese. Mm -hmm. and so it continued on Chicago, and so. We, for Baptists. Uh, and when you say most were Buddhist or Shinto? You know, uh, from Bainbridge. From Bainbridge. You see, she was Baptist. Yes. So that's that was a, a, a Gordon brought that up. Uh, okay. And it must have had some impact because okay. he was the one that brought that. Up. Okay. Um, I. You've had an interesting life. 
uh, you traveled with your husband mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, when did he pass away? Oh, five years ago. Okay, okay. Well, I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but he, uh, well, was he the same age as you? No, he was three years older. Okay, and you're going to be 92 this September, is it? August. August, uh -huh. okay, okay. Um, but you had a wonderful full life together. Yeah. That's yeah. quite yeah. remarkable. Um, People are always asked this question, if, if there is something you could have done differently in your life. Mm. No, I guess not. We yeah. had a wonderful marriage and wonderful life together. Yeah. Um, obviously with World War II, uh, and war with Japan, was there, I'm, I'm jumping around, but I'm just thinking, was there, after the war, was there residual resentment against, that? was there resentment still against Japanese Americans that you felt? Oh, that my parents lived next door to a blacksmith, and he always looked down on my parents because they couldn't speak good English. Mm -hmm. And he was just a blacksmith. My parents had education, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we never made friends with them. We skipped to the other side, and the, they were, were our real good friends with us. Mm -hmm. Though meaning Caucasian? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Well, from what I understand on Bainbridge Island, there were there were a lot of Caucasian families that were very protective of the farms mm -hmm. while you were away, and that mm -hmm. was that mm -hmm. was the situation that you ex your parents experienced. Yeah, we had a Filipino stay in our home, mm -hmm. and uh, we also had a, a minister's uh, a young married couple. Uh, they were not ministers, but they took our furniture and, and used it during the war. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so we had furniture after we came back. Yeah. Uh, the friends that you had on Bainbridge Island, um, did all of them return after the war? No, it's a lot of them. No. They didn't own their home, so they didn't come back. Yeah. yeah. Well, I... I no, most of them did. Most so. of them did, mm -hmm. yeah. It, it seems to me that Bainbridge Island was one of the rare places that welcomed mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. the Japanese Americans. So you were yeah. fortunate that yes. way. Um, but you preferred life in California. Yes. Yes. Much more going on, yeah. <laughs> much more cosmopolitan. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, did you get back to Washington much? Yes. I, uh, when my husband was overseas, I lived back with my parents. Okay. Even when you had the boys? No. Okay, before mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, of course, once you have the boys, then they're in school yeah. and, and things like that. Yeah. Within the community in California, uh, Fullerton. And uh, we were in, we had uh, built our home in Pasadena. Okay, okay. Yeah. Did you have a good neighborhood? Uh, we had a black neighborhood. She was a widow from uh, her husband and uh, we got along. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then there, there are a lot of Japanese people in Pasadena. Okay. Are you in touch with them? No, they're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what happens with time. <laughs> because I'm going to be 92. Yeah. The most of them are gone. 
what what brought you out to uh, the desert? Oh, let's see. Oh, well, probably. You see, we were in um, the Hattopi before, my brother. And we just liked the, the desert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we moved on. And, and how long ago was that? Oh, that was... We had a home in um, the Webb's uh, community. Mm -hmm. And uh, we liked there. So... I gave that home to one of my sons, and then I gave uh, 80 acres of land to my other son. The 80 acres on Bainbridge Island? No, in, in the other uh, California. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any um, connection still to Bainbridge Island? Yeah, my sister lives there. Okay. So I go there. No, but I, I have contact with her. Mm -hmm. How old is she? She's 90. She'll be 94 in December. <laughs> Does she still treat you like the younger sister? I guess so. <laughs> no, no, we're uh, equal. Uh, yeah. And I have another sister in... Um, Seattle, yeah. Okay, so three of four sisters are still alive. Mm -hmm. That's, you've got good genes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, my, I have uh, one uncle that lived 104. Well, I don't want to live. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thinking about uh, Manzanar and Minidoka, uh, did you have lasting friendships with yes, some of the people uh, there? Yes. Yeah. But they're, most of them are gone. They're gone, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it continued for years mm -hmm. afterward. Mm -hmm. And uh, did any of them settle in the Pasadena area or Cali Southern California? Yeah, they were from Southern California. So. Okay. They were back there. Yeah. Uh, have you been back to Manzanar? Yes. Yeah. When when was that? Uh, when they had the new administration building. So it must have been... Hmm. Oh, about five years ago. Okay. And that was the first time you'd been back? Um, no, I've been back once before. Once before, too. Yeah. Uh, I had some uh, students that were interested in writing about Manzanar. Mm -hmm. And so I took them back and showed them. Uh, were they impressed? Uh, I don't know. They. They promised they'll write their thesis, mm -hmm. <laughs> give it to me, but none of them. I just helped two of them. They didn't do the what. Oh, oh. Yeah. Well, how was it for you to go to, back? To go back. Uh, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. What what was the emotion that that struck you? Uh, there was no more building, so mm -hmm. there was no emotion that you know. Uh, uh, I just wondered how we exist. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite barren. <laughs> yes, and and I don't know if the snow ever melts off the top of the Sierras, yeah. but that's quite impressive. Yeah. And they have a beautiful building in Mazanar. Mm -hmm. Do you did, I've been there. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and it's yeah. it's wonderful with all the artifacts mm -hmm. in there mm -hmm. uh and uh 
when I was there last spring, they oh. had the uh, eight millimeter movies. Do you remember oh. those from the from the wartime? Oh. Uh, and it shows a very lush yeah. green environment that was created. And of course, all that's now gone. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember the fish ponds? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, when we went back after we were married, mm -hmm. it was a different. Yeah. Well, you were there for a year, so uh, how much was built up at that point? Did they have all the barracks built then? Uh -oh. Yeah, when we were there, there were 44 b buildings. Okay. I mean, box. Yep. Yeah. And they had a hospital, mm -hmm. school. Uh, did they actually have a grocery store where you could buy food, or was everything served? Yeah, they had a grocery store. Okay. And yeah, the, the one of the barracks. Yeah. Okay. Could you actually buy anything that you liked? Yeah, yeah. candies. Candy. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite candy? Uh, Hershey bars. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Hershey bar with with almonds or just plain chocolate? Uh, with, with nuts in with them. With the nuts in mm -hmm. them, okay, good choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about, um, well, of course they were they built, they grew gardens, they had vegetables and all that. So, uh, hopefully you didn't have to eat canned spinach. Uh, hopefully you didn't have to eat canned spinach no. for too long. No. Yeah. So what, what kinds of vegetables were grown? Oh, I guess they had all kinds of vegetables. They even sent it to Los Angeles. They produce so much. That's yeah. that's and remarkable. They were excellent yeah. compared to Los Angeles. I I, I tell people uh, similar stories like that because if one could see Manzanar and realize that it's nothing but sand and gravel, mm -hmm. that that it was turned into a fertile yeah. growing environment and. The word Manzanar means apple orchard, mm -hmm. as you know, in mm -hmm. Spanish, mm -hmm. and that region had been quite a fruit producing yeah. area. Unfortunately, that was before mm -hmm. you got there, but somehow they were able to tap into the natural resources yeah. and grow something. Did they grow fruit or, or was it just vegetables? Well, we were gone before that, you know. Right. Um, yeah, we went back. My mother-in-law was still there, so, yeah, they had fruits. Uh, okay. Um, it was still just different. <laughs> <laughs> was, was there anything better about Minidoka? No. No, it was all bad. Yeah. <laughs> but that well, was... I stayed there um, just a couple of months, so... Yeah, it didn't matter. Yeah. Mm. So going to Chicago was a real treat because you could eat anything. Yeah. But I even went to the tub and I started to cry <laughs> because why did I come when I don't know anybody? But, yeah. But it was nice there. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll wrap this up, but is there anything else you would like to add to about uh, your experience? Manzanar experience? Whatever, whatever, your life. Yeah. Uh, we had lots of fun mm -hmm. because there's all kind of young people. Right. And uh, I met my husband there. And, we were married in Chicago, mm -hmm. and so it was, a, on the whole, it was nice, you know, mm -hmm. to, we never have that kind of old Japanese young people. And, uh, so you made the most of it. Mm-hmm. Shikata Ganai. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did you say? Shikata Ganai. 
means what can we do? We'll make the most she, of it. She got, she got older, didn't I? No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was something I learned at Manzanar. Oh. Anyway, Dorothy Watanabe, thank yeah. you. It was a pleasure talking to you. Yeah. And, yeah. and Ann Dor, thank you very yeah. much. There, you know, there's another woman that was uh, uh, in the assisted living who was, I don't know if she was at Manzanar. Dorothy would remember, but she's very bitter. And she's very angry about her experiences. Oh. And she carries that with her today. That's unfortunate. Uh huh, that's unfortunate for her. Yes, yes. Yeah. But uh, it's yeah. interesting. Uh, uh, Dorothy has such a positive some things. Oh, this was a. Uh, uh, This was a uh, Mill Street, right? And, uh, uh, this is my family and my sisters. Okay. And this was this was my husband, and they, uh, uh, they uh, we came to interview us. Okay. And, uh, this is uh, April of 2000, mm -hmm. and so this is you with your sisters, yeah. okay? And why don't you point out to us where you are in that picture? Yeah, right there. Right, standing on the top step. Yeah. Uh, and, and then this, of course... Is the entrance. To Manzanar, mm -hmm. yes. And these were built by who? Do you know? No. I, I think they were built by Japanese craftsmen, well, Japanese yeah. American. Yeah, I think, uh, and I brought some of the pictures and with your husband and your dogs. Is that, uh, is that yeah. Winston there? Yeah. Yeah? That's the mark. Winston the talking dog. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Now you told me that you weren't there for your high school graduation, but no. you did get your diploma. No. Yeah. And we went, and uh, we were, my girlfriend and I from California went, but uh, we weren't included in, it in the graduation because they already had their caps and gum. So, let's see. The sun, we were, the, we were, in for the graduation, but uh, we didn't participate. So you never got to wear a cap and gown? No. Uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Yeah. But it says, uh, Bainbridge High took time in Saturday's graduation ceremony to honor its Japanese-American graduates from the class of 42. Yeah. Yeah. It was one of the bigger class of Japanese. Yeah. And this was dated uh, yeah. June 7th, 1992. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, this is, uh, I brought some of the, uh, 
So this is a Manzanar. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is Manzanar too. Uh, we didn't stay too long at the minute oh, oh. So I was there for a short time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Minnetonka. So I don't know. I was there at Bensonar. There's a photograph in here of mm -hmm. a of a, an army soldier. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever become friends with any of them, or do, or did they treat you as normal people? Uh, you mean with the Caucasian yes, people? Yes, yes. This is mm. the shot I'm referring to. No, no, uh, we weren't there then. Were they, were they, uh, um, did they talk to you? Were they friendly to you? Some of the soldiers. No. No. Uh, no interaction. Yeah, no. Okay. So I, I brought that for So was was this before they did the odalisk, the white odalisk? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and this is this is before and after, yeah. correct? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is what they we see yeah. now, Manson. Yeah. This is we were in Japan. Ah. Three couples. Okay. And uh, one year we taught English, and uh, so we they had uh, lots of uh, Jap Japanese. They enjoyed the three couples. Sure. Yeah. I recognize your husband. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, he's the tallest. Of he's the one tallest. Dog. And here you are with your husband and your dogs. Uh -huh. Very nice. And this yeah. was 1991. Yeah. Oh, there. We traveled with the three couples. Oh, okay. And then we were on a lot of. Country and uh, we wanted a grapefruit, and we were on one side and they were on the other side. And they said, "Hey, the store has grapefruit." <laughs> People wonder <laughs> who we were. <laughs> yeah, uh, we That's had lots cute. of fun with the uh, three couples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you did you travel much with yeah. them? Yeah. Okay. Well, they uh, went to the yeah uh, the Adam Baum, you know where oh. the post office the when they shut the uh, uh, Adam Baum there's a person that was walking and he's his uh, body is in better than there. Oh, uh, well, this was uh, at uh, Hiroshima? Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> so, anyway, we had lots of fun with the three couples. Mm -hmm. uh, we were the people who would come and 
wonder what we were. <laughs> yeah. So. Particularly if you're yelling grapefruits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you could see this uh, afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this was the saddest part. My dog. I oh. had to leave my dog and he wouldn't eat and he died in about a week and a half. Just yeah, just yeah. missed you. Yeah. 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 He wouldn't eat or anything. And uh, that was my graduation. Yeah. Let's yeah. Pull that up for the camera yeah. to see. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. anyway. I kept a lot of things. And now it's wonderful. Yeah. This is such an important record. Uh-huh. So... I kept all the things. That was so the list of the camps and that's yeah, the entrance yeah, to Manzanar. Yeah. Art. Yep. This is, so this is a shot of all the barracks. Uh -huh. and, uh, this is... A, my father was interned, and uh, we uh, the letters, and these are some of the letters. And, mm. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know you were keeping history when you created this? No. No, you just <laughs> were no. saving. Yeah. Wow, good for you. Yeah. So here's Chicago. Uh huh. That was your introduction. Yeah. Well, and uh, camp, and, and my father was interned, and he came back, you know. Mm -hmm. So, and the uh, dog greeted. Yeah. Uh, the, the Western. So, and, Western Union telegrams, uh -huh. which is nobody knows about those anymore. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, this one uh, was from your father. Mm -hmm. This is I arrived home safely September 7th, 5 30 p.m. Uh, yeah. in his name. Okay. Yeah. And so, this is Manzanar. Oh, yes. No mistake. Yeah. <laughs> then what is it? Uh, it's an article. It says bitter feelings still run deep at camp. Oh. Uh, just talking about the building of oh. uh, Manzanar. This uh, Manzanar. There's a Los Angeles Times mm -hmm. article. Mm -hmm. So well, it's it's in spite of as Anne was just saying, she knows someone yeah. who was still very bitter about yeah. it. But you yeah. you looked at it as a, a positive experience. Yeah. You dealt with it, but yeah. you got something positive from it. So. I guess I'd give this up, or I don't know, maybe my sons would want to keep it. Well, oh, we, yeah. I talked to her son about the collection she has, and I said it should go to a museum because it's really an intact mm -hmm. uh, experience, and it's based on her experience. Right. But yeah. he said he wanted to di he wanted you guys to digitize it and I said no the libraries probably won't do it if you want your own digitized version you're yeah. going to have to do it yourself but he didn't seem too interested I don't think he's going to do that. No. Yeah. Okay. Maybe my older son would. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, there's all this the man's in yeah. program, yeah. Or yeah. properly scanned, I don't know. No. I, uh, so this has everything. Yeah. All related to man's in mm -hmm. Yeah. It's such a complete collection, Chris. I think oh, you're this right. Is, um, yeah. With it. Well, let's hold this up. Yeah. Uh, Oops. Yeah. What a great photo. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't your husband a vice president of Johnson & Johnson? What was, was your, his title? What yeah. was your husband's title at Johnson & Johnson? He was a director of uh, new products. Director of... But he, he held something in... I mean, it was impressive when she told me what he did. Uh, I should have that, too. And these are... Oh, this is the picture that we... Chris, she uh, also has the address for her yeah. sister. Oh, okay. Yeah. In Seattle? Mm -hmm. No, in yeah. Bainbridge. Admi yeah, Bainbridge. Yeah. This is in Chicago. That's you with your sisters? No, friends. Friends, uh -huh. okay. A reunion. This is, uh, I think that's the reunion of Manson Art. Right. Uh, okay. Manson Yeah. Right. They have a reunion where yeah. they all got together for years. Did you did you take this? No. No. No, I don't know. Did I remember you showing me this uh, photograph? This one was uh, Mount Rainier. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my eyes are getting dim. I think she's getting <laughs> I think oh. she's getting tired. Yeah. I know. It's no, why? Yeah. So. I'll slip this in the back of yeah. this. Yeah. So I. Oh, this one was up in Tehachapi. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, they were very interested in. Uh, uh, I was active in their women's group, so... So they... This was quite interesting. It starts from there. Okay, so this is kind yeah. of an overview of... That's what, my, yeah. my sister. This is you and your sisters. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mother. With your mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course the order. Uh, yeah. So the cover of this is Nostalgia Magazine. Mm -hmm. Spokane County Courthouse. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. So this is about you. This article and your experience. And this is young Dorothy right here. <laughs> <laughs> and a photograph of a typical <clears throat> living situation. Yeah. Uh, there's a caption here that says, fresh pies sold daily. <laughs> uh, did you experience that? No. <laughs> yeah, that was probably later. Oh. Wow. This is a wonderful article. Yeah. Yeah, the um, photograph here of mm. the, uh, the pond, the mm. Japanese gardens, again, showing how lush it was. And... A photograph of you and your husband. Yeah. He's a dashing young soldier. Yeah. He was a dashing yeah. young soldier. Yeah. All right. yeah. Very nice. So. Okay. Well, how are you? Are you are you good? Yeah. You ready for a break? Yeah. 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 Well, again, thank you for bringing yeah. all this in. This is wonderful. <laughs>